that time again, time for an Avery update. My first update of 2017. So I haven't finished the new Avery additions yet. Um, as you can see, it's a bit of a mess out here. This is all stuff that used to be in my greenhouse that I've ripped out. Um, there's the greenhouse door. There's five. Chup, chup. Doing a bit of a mannequin challenge there. Um, so let's go have a look at how things are progressing. So this is the new Avery area, which is my old greenhouse. I will have a full video just on building this addition once I get it built and the video edited. But as a quick look, there's a little deck there for Zooey. The wall will go through here and eventually there'll be a pond over there for Woody. Um, but my aim at the moment is just to get Zooey and Yellow into this section here. So I'll finish this bit off first and that side might have to wait a little bit. Anyway, I have... Hello, Carrie. Hello. You want this? Yeah. Some big teas, aren't I? So I'm just taking some corn in for them now. I give them fresh corn. This is, you know, frozen corn. Um, I give them that uh, whenever I remember, every two or three days sort of thing. I give them a, a glass full of that. Doors jamming on the lead down here. One moment, please. Oi, not for chickens. Alright, door open. Stay out there, Betty. Yeah, I'm coming, Carrie, I'm coming. Now, it's a bit of a mess in here. We haven't had our, our New Year's clean up like we usually do. So sort of been concentrating on the other side, the other Avery, so I haven't built, haven't tidied this side up yet. So that's what it looks like from this side. I'm using a lot of Vitex, which is what I built my deck out of. Got a lot of offcuts. So I'm using a lot of that in the Avery. Right. Yeah, you want your corn there. You want your corn. Oh, now you scared of it. What I do is I take it out of the fridge, a uh, freezer, I tip it into a glass and then I sprinkle a little bit of water over it and it sticks together in a big clump like that. And on hot summer days, they just love a bit of cold corn. You hungry, Carrie? Swinny's lost her tail feathers at the moment as they do at this time of year. Carrie's already lost hers and hers are growing back. And Swinny's only got some short ones there at the moment. She keeps changing colour. She's changed so many times. She's like a transformer pheasant. There's noisy old Woody. Headless cockatiel. <whistles> Joster. Can you go past here, Carrie? Woody has a habit of tipping over the food bowl. Not content with just picking out of the bottom, he likes to tip it over and pick it up off the ground. And he makes a hell of a mess. Young boys. Are you doing fry? So 
Found this nice feather on the ground. I think it's come off Salvester, our male red rump. Got a lot of blue on it there. Blue with a little bit of black. A little bit whiter towards the tip. Now, if you're wondering what happened to the red rump of oh, this Salvester, right in the way. Amazing how hard it is to find the birds in here some days. They're very good at hiding in such a small space. If you wondered what happened to the red rump baby, it is no more. Um, Tweety just wasn't really looking after it properly. And when I went to intervene, I noticed it had its feet hadn't formed and it just sort of had two lumps where its feet should be and it soon died um, so that's a shame but that's that's nature and she desperately wants to have babies but she's just she wasn't looking after it properly, she wasn't feeding it properly hey, hey Poopy, do you want to scratch? Yeah. there you go Oh, there you go. Poopy still loves a good scratch. Yeah. Yeah. So there's another one of our teals that was meant to be a girl. We've got five male teals, two of which we bought as females. And clearly turned out not to be. But that's okay. I don't think we... People often say, why don't you get female cocktails? I don't know if we want to now. There's five males if we... We stuck one female in here, she'd get harassed quite badly, I imagine. And that lovely noise is Woody. He likes doing that, particularly at 2 o'clock in the morning. Now, I don't know where Tweety Pie is. Where are you, Tweety? Some of these palms are getting quite big in here now, particularly that caryota in the back there. will have to come out at some stage. Bismarcky is looking good too. It'll be a few years before that gets up to the roof. But this one here, this caryota oclandra, is really pushing the top. I always knew it wasn't long for this world being planted in here. It um, was a bit of a reject plant anyway, so I just threw it in here. It had a bad curve on the bottom of it. It's actually done pretty well. But it might have to get the chop soon. Hey, what do you think about that, Joey? Hmm? What do you think about that? Hmm? Hmm? You don't want to be on camera today. Okay. Can I open Daddy's hand? Hmm? No. I'm not in the mood. Come on. No. Okay. You don't always want to play. Although Joey usually does. There. Woody likes attacking my palms. Where is Tweety hiding? <clears throat> Normally fairly obvious because she's very noisy. Oh, she's got to be in here somewhere. Where is she? Hey, Tweety. Hello. You know where Tweety is? Mm. Mm. She's doing a good hiding act today. She's normally fairly easy to see, seeing as she's yellow. There she is. I see her. 
she's well hidden in there. Nope, she's off now. <laughs> She gone. There she is. It's Tweety. She's basically the matriarch of the Pheasantasium. She's the stroppiest. Nobody messes with her. To the point where we may have to get rid of her. She's just getting a little too stroppy for her own good. She's done some nasty things to some turquoises. Poor little yellow. Right, the day has finally come. I am going to start the extension to the Pheasantasium. And it's going to start inside my greenhouse. As you can see, it's a bit bloody messy in there. Let's get to it. Before the ground gets all wet, I'm going to dig out this area here. Some mesh in, probably dig it down eight, ten inches, something like that. Put some mesh down, fill it back in with soil, and then plant some grasses and things in there eventually. And I'm putting the mesh down so that there's no chance of rats getting in. Rats are the only problems we have here in Auckland and New Zealand. There's no there's no snakes or raccoons or foxes or anything like that. So it's just rats are the only thing that would ever get the birds. Not that we've had a problem with it before, but I am going to put the mesh down here so that there's no chance. <coughs> so I'm going to dig that out now. So I've used some old mesh in the bottom there, or just any old bits of metal and stuff I've got laying around to get rid of. Don't want to spend too much money on this. So I'm now going to fill it back in now that it's rat proof. Time to take out some of this plastic and start putting up some mesh. G'day Woody. So, taken down some plastic, you can now see through. Shifted some posts around the place, added a few extra ones in. I'm now going to start putting up some mesh. Right about here. So the mesh is up mostly, there's a little bit to go up there, and maybe a little bit more there, I'm going to put some timber there and there, and on these other bits. Birds in here don't seem to have really paid any attention to me opening this up yet, they're not coming and talking to me or anything, quite strange. Then again, it's been a strange old year hasn't it, I mean, since I've started building this, I don't know how many people have, famous people have died. We've only been building it four days. Rick Parfit, George Michael, Carrie Fisher. It's it hasn't been a good year, has it? Let's hope 2017 is a lot better. Right, so next shot, I'll have some timber on there. And some timber up there. And that's where the door's going to be through to the other Avery. And somewhere through here, there will be something. Not this, this is just sort of leaning there to give me an idea. Something going through there to make this a little home for Zooey and Yellow. So I'm going to make a little deck here. It's going to be my frame, it was an old gate. 
Um, I'm going to line the bottom of it with mesh. The top will be covered in Vitex timber, same as this. And I'll also have a space in the middle to grow a plant. So this is going to be the containment vessel for my plant, probably a palm that I'm going to have sticking out of the deck. This will be made of Vitex, same as that. So I'm just putting frame around this steel box here, which has got mesh in the bottom. I'll put some mesh in the sides, stop rats. Um, and I'm just framing that with some Vitex as well. And that will slot in the middle of here, decking over the top a hole for the plant. So this is the deck for Zooey and Yellow. Underneath, I have put a box there which I'm going to have a plant in. I'll block those holes off of mesh. And this whole bottom is going to be covered in mesh and drop down on top of the dirt there. So there's Zooey's little deck complete. Got to fill it up with soil in the middle there and pop a little palm in there. Um, I've just given it a light sand along with these bits of wall that I've done. How you doing Woody? Woody's been watching me, watching me work. Um, so I'm now just going to slap on some oil, some deck oil, make it look good and preserve it a bit longer. I don't think the Turks will chew on this timber, so it should be all good. So little Zooey's out here helping me today. Hey, helping me build your little house. Yeah. Oh, strippy. Oh, you're in strippy mood. Yeah. Yeah. Building your house, you're not allowed to get strippy at me. So, I've done a little bit more. Put some more mesh about the place. I'm just about to put some timber up here. I'm going to put Vitex across the roof here. I have a big sort of Vitex entrance way, Vitex down there, same as this side, and then carrying up the roof. And then it'll be open through there into the Pheasantasium. But Zooey, of course, will be over on this side. So, let's get to work again. So, Zooey, if it's done, what do you reckon? Hmm? What do you think? Come over here. Come on. Come on. You gonna be wuss? You gonna be wuss? Come on. Okay. Okay, so I've kind of changed plans again as I do. Um, so I'm gonna finish off both sides. Because I said, no, I'm not going to get around to doing this for ages. So, Zooey's just going to have to wait a little bit longer to get into the side so I can get the side done. Finish. So, um, I'm putting some Vitex down here. This is where the pond's going to go. That won't get done for a while. 
because I still haven't worked out what I'm going to do exactly. Um, and there's going to be a sort of arty vitex bit along there, some mesh up there. So I've just put some mesh in the ground around the sides here. So, more vitex. Oh, it's taken me a long time today. I don't seem to be getting very far, mind you. I'm probably getting a little bit flash for an Avery. But anywho, it's going to look good. Getting there. It's hard to get it all in shot. So the new door position. I was going to put it on this side, but it's sort of going to be a bit tricky with palm in the way getting things in and out. So, a good bit of roof, some boards in, gonna be good. Getting close. Just all had a, at least two coats of oil everywhere now. Got a few plants in. Put this wall up tomorrow. It should be good. So on this side of the wall, spread lots of seed around trying to get grasses and the like to grow. So hopefully they'll sprout. Soon, the roughest palm there. Uh, Ravenella madagascariensis. Probably died, but got to put it somewhere. Had it for years. I could bung it on the ground. Um, a pseudopanic species there, which is a native New Zealand tree. Uh, a little Camadoria elegans there, and I'm just deciding whether I want to stick a. Um, Dipsis baronii in there, and whether I'll put those little buggers in. So nearly done, except I ran out of mesh. That much short, can you believe it? So more Vitex. So that's the two halves split now. Um, I can no longer get into the Pheasantesium extension side. Um, the next time I'll be going in there, I'll be cutting through from the Pheasantesium. But now that piece of mesh there. Hard to see with this other bit of mesh in the way. Um, I'll just keep watering this though over the next couple of weeks. I'm not going to let them in for a while. Try and get some plants and grass and things growing in there. So they've got something to eat when they go in there, and so Woody's got something to do. So on this side, I am now going to put up some perches and that sort of thing, plant a couple of plants, except I'll have to wait till tomorrow because I've got to go get ready. Bruce Springsteen's in town, so I'm off to Bruce Springsteen tonight. So tomorrow I will plant some plants. I'm going to put a little um, covered area here. Put in a couple of perches, um, see if we've got water bowls and things we've got. Yeah, so that's tomorrow. Yeah. 
Right, she's ready to go. I can't believe how quickly all this grass and everything's grown. Sprouts. Fantastic. I'll let it get a bit more bushy before I let the pheasantasium crowd in, but this side is now ready. I'm just going to give it a hose down and it's ready for the two turk boys. Well, it's been a long time coming, but today is the day Zooey and Yellow move into their new home. So, I shall go and get them. Might be a bit tricky a video in such a confined space, but we'll see what happens. So, we've got the boys out here now. Zooey and Yellow. And he's hoping they like their new house. Oh, look, Zooey's dying to get out already. Yeah. Boy, what's this? This is your new home. It's bigger than the last one, isn't it? You got your foot caught already. Hey, you stretched your toes out too much, haven't you? Silly bird. How did you do that? Never seen them do that before. No, he's not been on the <coughs> You've done it again. You've done it again. That's not a good start. <laughs> oh, he's done it again. Uh oh. So as Yellow's not used to walking around on this square mesh and his toenails are a little bit long, we're going to have to trim his nails. So we'll do that now before we let out Zooey. Zooey is dying to get out. Yeah. You see how interesting it looks and you want to get out. Yeah. Zooey is dying to get out. And yeah, see how interesting it is and you want to get out and play. Have a fly. Maybe long. Nails trimmed. Cockatiel's coming over to see what's going on. Or not. <laughs> so I've just trimmed Zooey's toenails as well before we let them go. Stressing out a little bit. Mm. Right, here you go Zooster, new home. Zooey of course has a damaged foot anyway. What do you reckon about that? Got a bath down here Zooey. Now you like to have a little bath. And we'll leave their cages in here for a few days in case they want to go back down and sit in their cages so they feel at home and comfortable. And I'm sure they're going to love it out here. Hey, you got to just make sure you don't pick on yellow. What are you looking at? You can talk to all your friends next door. Hey. Can you get a ticket and not fly away? What are you reckon about that, boys? Zooey has been out of the cage for probably less than two or three minutes.
a few minutes in and they seem to be loving the place. Zoe's already had a sunbathe. No fighting. Zoe, play nice. Zoe. You wanted the leap, did you? You want bamboo leaves? There's a heap of it behind me. So Zoe and Yellow are in their new home and now they're getting some new little friends. This will be interesting to see how Zoe reacts to these two guys. Well, hopefully it's not two guys, hopefully it's a guy and a girl. Let's go inside. Oh Zoe, don't be a little bugger. Leave Yellow alone. Unfortunately, I haven't got my seat in here yet. There'll be a seat in here in the next few days. Maybe by the end of today. Zooey! Zooey! Be nice! He's gonna say he's your only friend, but he's not anymore. Just in the box. We have. A couple of little quail. So these are silver Chinese painted quail. Kind of silver. Alright, guys, welcome to your new home. Hey, they can fly pretty good. <laughs> Woo! Right, careful guys, don't go doing that too often. That's why I said to keep that on the buttons. be shooting out that door every time we open it. <laughs> what do you reckon, guys? Hmm? Better than we were, eh? Didn't have any greenery and soil to scratch around in. I'm not quite sure, but I'm guessing this is the male judging by his face. I'm not sure, I don't know too much about quail. Not your lunch, Woody. Food bowls over here. Alright Zoe, come down and meet these two. You're not allowed to be nasty. These guys will help clean up all the all the seed laying around that Zoe and Yellow flick about the place. Particularly Zoe's very messy. Who's that Swinny? You 
funny little bird. Is that Woody? Is that? <laughs> so yesterday was a bit different. Um, it was a bit bloody. See here, this is normally covered in bamboo leaves. Water's come pouring down here. I suppose all this weed mat, which I haven't seen for 10 years. Washed all the bark and everything away. And it's all come pouring down here into the aviary. bark and things on the edges, it all came through. This was a swimming pool in here yesterday. And it poured over that wall there and into the aviary. Let's have a look in here. Hey guys, it's a bit of a rough start, wasn't it? <clears throat> and that pottery bowl floated up and moved onto the concrete. It was completely on the dirt. Um, there's some of the stuff that's washed around in here. Water sort of poured in through the door here, flowed around like that, and down over to where Zoe's sitting at the moment. And these poor little guys are standing up on that rock there. And they came out and checked on them as they were surrounded by water. Thankfully it went down soon after that. Anyway, I've got you some corn, guys. You like corn? It's a little bit dried up looking because I had it prepped for yesterday, but then it flooded and I stuck it in the fridge and it's dried up a bit. But, anyhow. I'll put this down here. Whoever wants it can have a go. Who are you? You looking grumpy? Huh? You looking grumpy? Come on, Carrie. Yeah, I got you some corn. I'm coming. <coughs> or you. I'm going to make it out there. Come on, stuck in here. No, 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 no. No, no, no. That's it. <sighs> I haven't seen Zooey interact with these guys yet. Doesn't look like you like them too much. <laughs> You're a grumpy little bugger, Zoe. Zoe's so used to being by himself inside that he doesn't seem to get along with anybody. He's a bit like straws, doesn't know he's a bird. He's a person. You know alright there, Yellow? You're not picking on you too much? Anyway, let's go check out the pheasant tail again. Hang on a second. She's a right old mess in here. Oh, sorry, Carrie. Step right in front of the door, sorry. Hmm? I hit you with the door. Hmm? Is it gone? I'm going to take it out of my hand. So, a lot of sludgy stuff in here. After yesterday. <coughs> and the water was all pouring through this bit. Washed all the food, knocked the food bowl over. It was, it was pretty wet. If you haven't seen the flooding video, I'll put it at the end, I'll link to it at the end of this video. We had a lot of water yesterday. There you go, Karen. Now, oh, Woody. Here you stop. 
Right, anyway, I better give these guys some clean water and that's good Woody, you haven't knocked that over in a few days. Trying different systems to try and stop Woody from contaminating the fresh water supply for the other birds. Woody was the only one that enjoyed yesterday. He thought it was great. Everybody else was, was pheasants were up on the seat here. Everybody else was just hunkered down under cover. But Woody thought it was fantastic. You'd be happy with floods every day, eh, Woody? Hello, Joey. Hello. You okay? Okay. What's up, Leela? This is Leo, or Leela, originally called Leela because I thought he was a girl to begin with. Doesn't, doesn't get on the video very often because he's usually hiding away somewhere. Doesn't hang around with the other t teals much. Hangs around with the turks more. He's, he's the noisiest, as you can see. Oi! Hey! Shush, shush! Shush! Leels. He's also the wussiest one. Can't get very close to him most of the time. Occasionally comes down and sits on us, but not very often. <coughs> yeah, it's looking pretty lush in there. This weekend just gone. Today's Monday. The flood happened on Sunday. And, um... I was planning on opening this up over the weekend, but flood changed that uh, that program of events. Um, but hopefully, in the next few days, I'll get them in there before that grass and stuff starts going wrong. It's a little bit flattened looking there. So, Joey. Get down there, Zoe. He's just landed on me now, Joey. Are you, Poopy? Mm, hello. Hello. Oh, now I've got three. Three teals on me. And Fry almost landed on me, didn't you? Charlie's on my head. Let's just spin this camera around here. Poopy and Joey, who usually come and land on me straight away when I come in here. Poopy giving me a preen. <laughs> Fry just landed on the camera and then flew off again. And Charlie, oh, was on my head. <clears throat> what did you guys think of yesterday? Hmm? Don't want that too often, eh? There's the most rain we've had here in 17 years of living in this particular house. It was somewhere in the region of one mil of rain every minute for an hour. And the council were really helpful. We phoned them. They said they'd be there in an hour. And they arrived five and a half hours later. Once the water was well and truly gone after I'd cleared everything out, all the drains and everything. So that was really helpful. And today I am waiting for the insurance company to call back and hopefully they're gonna come have a look at all the stuff in our garage. Our heat pump was more than 50% submerged. Uh, I imagine that's buggered. It's annoying because we wanted to use the aircon last night. Because it is summer here still, the end of summer. So even though it was a lot of rain, it's still quite warm. High of around 24 degrees Celsius today. How you doing, Red? This is Red. He's called Red because his belly's a lot redder than all the other chicks. You're alright, you don't look too good. 
Keep an eye on him. He's all very noisy today. I'm doing this, funny. I'm come down now. It's not raining. Anywho, I better get these guys some fresh food and water and get on with cleaning out the garage. So thank you all for watching as usual and I'll see you on the next one. Um, don't know how many left in the 24 hour series but this will be one of those videos and I'll see you next time. Noise a lot. So it's been about two hours, and it looks like another flood's been through. Everything's flattened. Not only that, I was just looking at that clump of grass there and thinking. I don't remember planting that there. I planted a clump there of kaikuia, but I didn't remember planting that there. And that's because I planted it there. And I'm assuming Woody has for some reason thought it would be better off in the middle. So, as is his want. Oh, and that one there has completely massacred the grass that I planted in that corner. Oh, and it looks like he's taken down. Wait, oh, Carrie, you're in the way. Taking down the leaf. Yes, I'm talking about you. Taking down a couple of leaves off this raffus palm here. <sighs> He's a little bugger. He's tricky to tricky to control. Looks like he's had a fairly good go there too. This might have been a waste of time. I think I might have to do my door idea. Some sort of sliding door on here. Is that, or I block it off and have different birds in there. Maybe put the red rums in there so they don't harass everybody else. Hey Tweety, talking about you. Anyway, I didn't think it would last too long before it got massacred, but I didn't think it would be quite that quick. Oh well, we'll see what it looks like after the next couple of days. Hey Carrie. You've all been, looks like you've been running around like crazy and they're trampling everything. Wait, you. Bone pickle, you. Hmm? A lot easier with that Woody. What's he doing, Joey? What's he doing? Can I come in? Mm. <coughs> now I have a banana here. A oh, very rowdy parrot over there. Oh, the sparrows arrived. They scared of sparrows. Drop. The doves is molting at the moment. Hmm. Hey, dog! Right around. Anyway, banana. Need some banana carry? Keep trying to get them banana and they don't seem all that keen on it. So let's try again. Fall out. There we go. Oh, covered in rubbish already. <coughs> what do you think of that, Woody?
What are you doing, Strobes? You're suck, Woody. I don't know if you can hear it on the camera, but he's talking away over there. doesn't like focusing through the mesh. Come on, what do you know you saw? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just laughing at Straub's talking as well. Um, now, thank you all for watching the 24 videos and 24 hours. Um, I'm thinking of doing a live stream. <laughs> you right over there? Yes, yeah, so as I was saying, I think I'm doing a live stream. <laughs> Oh, now Joey's landing on my head and joining in the squat. I'm going to go on the other side here, it might be a little bit quieter. So here's the extension. A couple of days after it was opened. And this is the first time I've actually walked in here. Two cocktails on me. Um, so yeah, it's been well, well utilised. Hey Joey. Huh? Yeah? What do you think you're in here? You like it in here? Yeah? Mm -hmm. It's a little sheltered area there, isn't it? To get out of the weather. Isn't Strobes being noisy? Hmm? Isn't he being noisy? Yeah. So this is <laughs> this is what oh, what have they got hold of there? And the quail have got a got a slug. So this is what Zui, Yellow, Sauvignon, and Blanc. Avery looks like from the other side. Oh, you're coming out, are you? <clears throat> you're coming out to the doorway. Hmm? You want the corn? No? You just want to go out there, do you? Not very exciting. Carrie is trying to come out into the doorway area. Can I come in? Stay there. Right, it's April Fool's Day. I'm not doing an April Fool's video as such. It's just, it's April Fool's today and I'm doing a video. Ah, look how massacred that is already. All the greenery on the ground is gone. Thankfully Woody hasn't destroyed that palm yet, he's had a good go at that, and that. There's Blanc sitting on her eggs. You want some corn? 
Oh, sorry. Now, I was just dragged out here with the noise of a screaming Turk. Turks, when they get angry and when they are um, defending themselves, they make a very sort of noise. Um, and that's what I was hearing along with a lot of other commotion. So I thought something was up. Let's go and shut this door. What you doing, Carrie? Hmm? You've never been on that bit, have you? <laughs> Show you what's... Okay, let me carry the clean up out there. Um, so I came out. And our little baby Turk was on the ground. Scratches. Poopy loves a good scratch. So he's currently sitting on my head. Dove just landed on the roof. I've got a lot of wild birds here. Doves come down to feed. We find it safe here. It's good. What you doing, Joseph? Hmm? You always just want to scratch down your booby. So, without getting too close, that's mummy, daddy's on the edge of the hole at the moment, daddy, so I've put baby back in, picked him up, I don't know if it's a him or a her yet, it was too, it was premature leaving of the nest because the baby couldn't, couldn't fly. That's Leela who looks after all the babies in here. He was very distressed when the baby was on the ground. And he keeps an eye on him. Yes, I don't know if it's male or female yet. As the, um, I had a look at his wing, its wings. Um, there was a lot of blue on them, so I'm guessing it's probably going to be a male. But there was no red as of yet. The, with turquoises, the males have red patches on their wings. Here you go, Woody. So yeah, the males have the red patches on the wings. Nice and easy to tell the difference between male and female. And they get the red fairly early on. The baby currently has no, um, still quite small, has no feathers on its head yet. It was very loud, very squawky little baby. Um, oh, sounds like Joey's gone out to the gate. Is that there, Joey? Shut the door on you. Bye bye. Carrie's still out there. Yeah, it's like a new Avery, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> Right here. In the whole world. Where's Joey, Poopy? Where's Joey? Where's Joey? Where's Joey? So, the baby, no red yet, you can usually see the red fairly early on, so hopefully it's still a female, um, that would be preferable, I've got enough males, 
and it'll be good to have a female to go in the other aviary with zoo here in yellow, potentially. I'm going to have to prune up this carryover, it's going to be taking the roof off. People often ask that I don't video the sparrows much, they're very hard to see, they keep away from everything. See, and they move very quick. <laughs> You want to come back in, Joey? Yeah? Who's out there, Poopy? Joey out there? <laughs> you talking to the boys in that Avery? Alright, let's open this back up. Well, now Poopy's out there. You guys. It's not your Avery. You're not meant to be going in this bit. Oh. <laughs> I don't usually pay much interest to being out here and today. Bang, there was four of them out there just then. This little Turk's trying to tell me something. It's a free-for-all now. What's up, Twisty? So what are you all coming in here for? What is if I shut the door? Hmm? We've got three little cockatiels all captured. Sorry. Poopy and Joey and Charlie. And Carrie's still in there. Some of these birds could even go through and visit these guys. Joey's been in there before. Don't really want Carrie going in there with the quail eggs at the moment. What's up? You guys want to come back in here? Where's everyone gone, Fry? Come on. Off my head, Charlie. Come on, guys. Come on. Why do you find it so interesting, Carrie? There's hardly anything there. All just new, isn't it, guys? It's all new. What's going on? Come on, Carrie. I'm going to move those see if there's bugs under them. Bugs? No. Got the teal's out anyway. Come on, Carrie. I've got things to do. Good girl. So that's just a, an update on the baby. The Avery in general. It's a bit of a tidy up before I do my live feed. So the live stream date I will announce in another video closer to the date. It's looking like it's going to be Saturday. Weather permitting it might change. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Keep your baby in there for a few more days.
I don't know who he's cooing to. Because she's sitting over here. So it's now May, May the 1st, 2017. The year is flying by. Man, have we had some miserable weather the last few days again. Today is beautiful and sunny. The weather in Auckland has just been so rubbish in the last two months, really. Still haven't got our insurance payout yet. This is Poopy, sitting on my shoulder. We can see that, can we? And sitting on my other shoulder. Here's Joey. Joey spends a lot of time on my shoulder. Do you want to be on camera today? Ow. Cockatiels like pulling out whiskers. Makita's doing fine. A few people have been asking if Yellow's got a broken wing. If you've followed his story, then you would know that he was beaten up when he was young and does have a damaged right wing. He wasn't able to fly for quite some time. But he can fly now, which is good. But his wing does hang rather funnily. He's got feathers that grow on the top of that wing that grow in the wrong directions. Mm, had to pull them out before. He's got one growing out there, but funny as you can see now, maybe. <coughs> I'm not going to tell you what the quail are doing. You wouldn't jinx anything. What are you doing, Carrie? <coughs> Looking a bit motley, aren't you? Tail's starting to grow back. People have been asking what sort of male pheasant we have. We don't have a male pheasant. We have no male pheasants. Two females, Carrie and this one here, Swinny. Who looks like a male, I'll give you that. But she's not. <coughs> and Woody is rather keen on Swinny. But Swinny doesn't have any interest in poor old Woody whatsoever. Woody's goal today is to get this leaf, which is blown down, into his water bowl. He's been trying for the last however long, slowly dragging it closer. Very nice song, the Java Sparrows. A couple of days ago I saw one just sitting on top of the dove and the dove was walking around and the sparrow was getting a pitching a ride on the back of the dove. So they're cheeky little buggers. There's four out of five of them. like hanging around the doves, particularly in winter. In winter they snuggle up underneath the doves and the doves are trying to sleep. Just 
Notice the belly on one of them was quite white. To be honest, I don't pay too much attention to the poor little Java sparrows. They get somewhat ignored now. What are you doing, baby? This is a New Zealand cabbage tree or Cordelina australis. And I've put in here for the chop the top off. Put in here for the. little berries here. Carrots like eating them. <coughs> so I'm thinking of doing a little series of videos where I talk about just one species of bird in each video. I.e. I'll tell you about my red rumps in one video there they are there. Another video, cocktails, another video, woody, another video, pheasants, that sort of thing. Still standing there swimming. It's a very casual pheasant, that one. As pheasants go. Pheasants are pretty jumpy creatures most of the time. She's very relaxed, old swimming. Well, our second batch of quail have just hatched, but I'm beginning to bring, think quail bring floods because we've just had a huge downpour again. This is the entrance way to the aviary. That's a six inch board there, so there's about three inches of water just there. Thankfully, <laughs> the way I've designed it, the water's not getting into the the Averys, but it's not great. I'm not going to go in and disturb them, but they have hatched. I can see the broken eggs there. Not sure if all five have hatched. I can't see any whole eggs at the moment. So, more quail. It's not a great time for them to have hatched though. And the current water issues. I need to build some other barrier up there further to stop the bloody downfalls from downfalls, downpours from flooding everything. But this does actually stop a lot, as you can see. It's not running through there. They're all contained in the doorway. I need to some drainage up here somewhere never been an issue before not until this year so it's the next hey. day it's a beautiful sunny day not a cloud in the sky and let's go check on the babies the water's subsided okay Joe stuff I don't know how many we've got yet. <laughs> I'm 
Let's open the door. Baby, you got mommy? Oh. There's at least three. We've got them some different food this time. And change the water bowl. The food bowl's now the Water bowl and water bowl is now the food bowl. It looks like they're all gone off to hide. So I'll just leave them alone, I think. I don't want you two picking on them. You guys need a new branch? Get you some fresh greenery soon. So, still not sure how many there is, but there's at least three. Hey Chester. So about 10 minutes ago I logged into my YouTube account and as I watched I saw my subscriber counter click over to 4,000 subscribers. So I know who the 4,000th subscriber is too. But I won't say their name here. Um, yeah, so thanks guys, 4,000. Moved along, it came along pretty quick after the 3000. Um, so, June, this is my this will be my June update. Everybody's all good. This little one here, I don't know if somebody. I had a go at her. I took her inside the other day because she was looking a bit off. She seems okay, but she's lost her tail and she had some damage on her wing, so I don't know whether she got bashed up by Tweety or somebody. Don't know. Can I come in here, sweetie? Flying pretty good for no tail. Now the quail are doing well, as you will have seen in my last video, if you watched it. So the two babies and mummy and daddy are down here, looks like she might have covered them up with some leaves. It still looks like six, six eggs which thankfully she's not sitting on so Hopefully we won't get any more babies anytime soon. It's getting a bit too cold and late in the year in New Zealand for that. Um, temperature wise, last night we got down to about 5 degrees Celsius. It's looking like that for the next couple of days. That's pretty cold in Auckland. Um, it does get lower than that, but not much. Not too often, thankfully. There's Makita. Still really haven't seen her in um, for all yellow talk yet. They don't seem to socialise with each other. Maybe they don't know what they're the same species, I don't know. Birds can be funny. Still not 100% sure what to do with this extension I've done here. Of course I can put a pond in there. 
Isn't that so wet just along there? Hmm. That Ravenella doesn't look too healthy. And as for the plant that was planted there, it was looking pretty rough and it was there yesterday. <laughs> and it appears to be gone. <laughs> Thanks, Woody. That little bowl there's a and that there is from the pheasants, they love to dust bathe. Oh, Woody, you've tipped over the food bowl again. I stood that up this morning. Yeah. Anyway, so that's just a quick update. Stay tuned for videos on each lot of birds. Doves, turquoises, quails, cockatiels, bukekos, pheasants. Red rumps, Java sparrows, all coming soon. What are you doing on my head? Hmm? Wow. There's a little Makita. So the year is shooting by, bleh, shooting by at a high rate of knots. Um, we haven't got any more quail. Blanc keeps laying eggs. Just collected up all these eggs from the quail. She keeps laying eggs, she sits on them for a couple of days and then gives it up. So taking them out, I don't really want any more anyway. 23 eggs here. Three different nests. Yeah, I'm coming to see you guys, hang on. I think the teals want some attention. Joey, you're on the wrong side of the door, mate. Yeah. You're on the wrong side, are you? What are you doing on this side? This is why I have a double door. You can so easily lose a bird as you open a door. I'm standing inside the double door area. And that's the into the the aquarium. Now Joey's starting to panic. Yeah, yeah, that's loud, man. <laughs> Here you go. Back with your friends. That's. But yeah, Makita and Yellow still don't really talk to each other. They just that's about as close as they get. Yellow's not a very social bird. And Makita had a bit of human socialising, so she doesn't really know what to do either. Anywho, maybe one day they'll become more friendly. Hello, you. What are you doing? So it's finally stopped raining. Well, it won't have stopped. It'll rain again shortly, of course. Man, we've had so much rain this this um, year so far. New Zealand broken a lot of a lot of rain records this year all around the country, including where I am here in Auckland. Um, I'm not sure how close we are to the yearly total yet. But must be way. Okay, guys, what was that about? Hmm? You nearly took my head off. Hmm? 
They do that every now and again when a, a wild bird or something does a... <laughs> what are you guys doing? And when a wild bird does an alarm call, they all sort of go bonkers. Scares the daylights out of them. You okay? That just sucks. Or it could also be, you know, a noise from a, a car or a, a neighbour making a noise. Usually it's a usually it's another bird, a blackbird flying over, squawking its head off, something like that. Woody's just lost a lot of feathers recently, sort of molting on his tail end. See that sort of noise there that you just heard often. As they fly over the aviary as they do that. Cockatiels all crap themselves, don't ya? Yeah. Mm. What are you doing, Tristan? What are you doing? What are you doing? Hello, Fry. Little boys. How are you doing? Hello, Charles. Garden in your little house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I need to I need to do a lot of things in here, but the weather's just been so horrible. It's cold and wet, and yeah. So I haven't started my renovations in here yet. I do want to get in, get something organised before breeding season, so that the Turks get a bit of peace from the. Sparrows and in particular Tweedy. And my oh, battery is about to die on my camera, Joey. What's going on there? Yeah, we only got a couple of minutes left. Hmm? Shall we shall we cut to a shot of straws? Eh? Shall we cut to a shot of straws? Well, here's a shot of straw playing with the pillow. Uh oh, I've been sprung. Just gave straw an old pillow, which I didn't think it'd go anywhere near. But, he's having a good old time with it. Where he was until I got the camera out. It'll fall off there at some point and scare the living daylights out of them. And that'll happen two seconds after I stop recording. Oh, hang on. Might happen now. It's gonna go, Straubs. You walk down that way, you're gonna be in trouble. Oh, you're lucky. There we go. I'll be terrified of that. The temperature she has dropped while I was getting that battery charged. With Leels. Also known as Leela, also a male cockatiel, not a female one, even though it's called Leela. Oh, it's too cold out here now, guys. Oof. Go inside like far. Ah, 
Oh, that was a bad landing, Booby. Hit my head. Man, you need to trim your nails. Joey, what kind of video have you seen on the camera? Give me my hand. <laughs> Don't make life easy sometimes, do you? Hello, Booby. What are you two doing in here? Poopy and Charlie? Hmm? <coughs> you jealous, Joester? You jealous Poopy and Joey having a day out? Poopy and Charlie? Poopy and Charlie? What are you doing? Hmm? You like it in here? Come on, this is the way you live. Okay. Come and talk to the Turks, didn't you? <laughs> <coughs> Joey's getting jealous. Joey's getting jealous. Come on, baby. Come on. I know you want to scratch. Come on. Come on. Back to your side. Oh, now my keys has gone out here. I'm swapping cages today. Back in that one, Makita. Good girl. Oh, you sit up on there for a second, Charlie. Get over the mesh. Yep. Gotcha. Hmm? Yeah, you like going in there, didn't you? Alright, let's reunite you all. <laughs> Don't come in here, Joey. We're all going back in this side. There we go. Teals and nosy little buggers. They're so cute. Yeah, aren't you? Time of the month again. I feel I'm not keeping up. Hey, Joester, what are you doing? Not keeping up with this year. September already. It's like everybody's having a bit of a sit. It's Carrie and Woody and we rest. We swims. Oh, there's swims in the background. Don't even see it. Right around the bamboo. So I haven't done anything in here since the last update, I don't think. It's just been so wet. I've been wanting to get out here and tidy everything up, but everything just keeps getting washed through here. It's just been so damp. It's just been the wettest, wettest bloody, there's an eggshell there. Hmm, it's like a dove egg. It's been the wettest winter I've known for a long time. This keeps topping up Woody's bowl. The ground everywhere is just so wet, can't mow the lawns. Just every everywhere you walk on the grass in Auckland at the moment, it's just a quagmire. Hello, hello. Who's that sweet right man? Very whistly today, guys. So yeah, September 2017. Still haven't started this um, area here, like I said a couple of months back that I was going to do. But we'll wait until it's summer, I think. Hey, Joey. Give it another month or so. Still, yeah. Still warm up. Joey's sitting on my shoulder, singing in my ear, whistling to me. Hmm. Want to be on camera? <laughs> what you doing? What you doing? Yeah.
be easy if you sat somewhere and did this so I didn't have to try and video you on my shoulder. So I've shifted the um, the food barrels and these other things I keep in here into this side of the aviary now, into the extension. What are you two doing up there? You okay? You're not standing on the head. <laughs> yeah, Joey. I don't know what a Barbary Dove's bum looks like. There you go. You okay there? Hmm? Okay. Can you just move? Oh. Are you alright there? Yeah? Just having a wee. What you doing? Hmm? You got your little feathers going there. You ready for some loving, aren't you? Dirty bird. Don't go laying eggs up there, okay? No good up there. I'll fall off. See you've laid one and dropped it somewhere else. So, I have shifted the feeder in here. Um, just so that when they spread seed everywhere, which they love to do, um, it will end up sprouting in here. And I am, I have finally decided, I will block this off. So over spring, there's a door here. So over spring that can grow, I'll water it and I'll try and get some grass and things growing in there. But I will leave holes. So what I'll do, that Joey, you've got to get back to that. So we'll put a door on, on this area. I haven't decided yet whether it's going to be a sliding door one way or the other, or just a standard hinge door. Hinge door would be easier, but we'll see, what, see how it's going to fit with everything else. Sliding door is going to potentially get in the way of things. Both of them will get in the way, it's just, well, see which one gets in the way the least. Um, anyway, so there'll be a door here, and then in the top here somewhere, I will leave a gap, an opening, so that, so that Joester here, <laughs> and all the other birds his size, all the flying fellows, can get through. But Woody, Carrie, and Swinney will be stuck on this side. And that'll just give the chance for the grass to grow. And then once it has grown a bit, I can just open the gate. And they can go in there, have a bit of a play, eat some grass. And then I think it's getting a bit depleted. I'll shut the door again for a week. So it's sort of best of both worlds. And eventually, yes, I'll make some sort of water feature in here. So there's no new additions or anything to the aviary at the moment, but we're coming into spring, so everyone's going to want to be laying eggs, having babies. Hey guys, these guys won't be having babies, but they will lay eggs. There's no male pheasant in here, so they'll be infertile. And Blanc just keeps laying eggs. She sits on them for about a week and then gives up. So it's kind of good at this time of the year because it's just been so cold and wet and horrible. Not very good weather for baby quails. This is their favourite spot they like to hide behind this clump of grass. Need to get some more grass in there and have a bit of a clean up in there. Yeah. So another month gone already, where is the year gone? When you get older they just seem to fly past quicker and quicker and just never get anything done. So many plans, so little time. Um, I'm going to make some more nest boxes in here too, hopefully before spring so that turks and red rumps and stuff can have some peace and lay their eggs and keep away from each other. Um, so I've got to make some concaves for the nest boxes. Um, I'll put a video up on that, on how I do that. Should be, come, should be on around the same time as this video. I'll put a link for it at the end here on the screen. Um, yeah, so that's about it for now, I think. Well, who would have thought? October already. Wow. Year is flying by. Now, the doves are... Um, gorging themselves at the moment. Hmm? How long have you guys been in there? 
and I have a new door, kinda, with some additions. Anyway, let's backtrack a bit and I'll show you all of that. Right, today I am putting a door on here. This way I can keep the quail on the other side away from pheasants just in case and we can get some grass and stuff growing in here hopefully wasn't my initial plan for this area but you got to work with what you dealt with so hey people it's walking my ear Joseph. so I'm gonna make the door out of scraps I've got laying around basically I'm gonna take this pile here and turn it into a door like this and so I've got the door up and in the nick of time it's now about to pour with rain how unusual so I've got a little ledge here at the top of small birds to land on and shimmy their way through that gap there is big enough for a teal to get through no problem and probably the red rumps will be brave enough unfortunately I didn't plan it too well because I haven't got anything no easy way for them to land on the other side because of this. Oh, sorry little Turk. Um, yeah, so it wasn't the best. Gonna have to modify it slightly and somebody's still sitting up here. I'm gonna have to move you. I'm gonna have to move you. I can't believe you're nesting there. Look, the wind and the rain. You're a silly bird. So the quail are going to go out here today, their new home next to their parents. Mummy must be getting close to hatching a new brood, I saw eight eggs under there yesterday. Man there's some rough weather coming. Ah, so much rain this year, had more than our whole year's worth of rain already and we've still got several months to go. I should have probably put a hole down here rather than at the top to make ease of getting through. Anywho, we might go inside until the rain stops. Hey guys.
so after being closed off for about a week in here, everybody has come swarming in as soon as I've opened the doors and seems to be getting along fairly well with the new quail. I'm about to hook up the sprinkler system in here. And turn that on to water everything here and get everything growing. Now that spring is supposedly here. Good to get this all full of grass. Everybody's loving coming in here. You want to get in that bin now? <laughs> yeah. It's so funny. There's some peanuts. Look out, peanuts. Look out. One in it. Hmm? Clean up. Every dove loves peanuts. Harry. Hey guys, I need to get out and go do some other things. But if you're all in this area, you can't leave. There's Charlie and Poopy and Fry's on my head and Joey's on my shoulder. And we're all in the bit we're not meant to be in. We need to be in there. On that side. Come on. Time to go. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Go back on that side, Sam. Come on. Good boy. That's it, guys. They're finally getting some sun, so the birds are enjoying a bit of a sunbathe. Don't be a nuisance, Charlie. Charlie, he doesn't want you singing at him. Right, so it's now November, and we've had a few days of okay weather. Good enough weather that I've been able to paint some window frames, so that's good. But it's going to the dogs again. Next few days and every rain. Hey, literally going to the dogs. This is Poppy. 
Hey, Poppy, say hello. Say hello, Poppy. Good girl. This is not my dog. It is my mother's dog. She's gone away for a few days, and so I am looking after it. Her, not it. Hey, Poppy. The chooks are in hiding. Betty! <laughs> not too keen on Poppy. This here is Zooey's memorial plant. I thought it had some good colours on it, like Zooey. So anyway, it's November, let's do an update. Um, first of all, I'll show you some of the things from the last few weeks since the last update. It stopped raining for a couple of days. Maybe the grass has dried out long enough I can mow it. Got to start tidying up the garden. And then the aviary. Hopefully summer's going to be a lot better than winter. So lawn mowed and looking the roughest it's looked in a long time. At least it's not long anymore. Hello boys. Hello. Hello Scratch. Hello Scratch. Hello Scratch. A good scratch there. Hello Charlie. Hello Charlie. What you doing boys? You playing on the grass? So I put the grass clippings in the presentation. That's not very good video videoing it from out here, why am I videoing it from outside? I do a video from outside. That's better. So I put some grass clippings in here for the birds. I'd like to have a rummage around in that. Ah, that traffic's so loud. The tree's been cut and it's now even louder than normal. Hey, Jarista. How you going? Right, Joey, I've got to go and oi, make a turquoiseine nest box. Okay, so I'll go do that and then I'll come back. So my system of water renewal here seems to be working. Means I won't have to clean it out quite as often. As long as it keeps raining. Which it seems to keep doing. Not just what do you like to play with plastic pots. So I've had to separate carry out from everyone else. Currently in with two young quail. Due to that noisy bird you can hear. 
Woody is becoming a bit of a nuisance. He's reached sexual maturity and he does that scream like that all through the night calling out to other Pukekos that are nearby. And he, he's got the hots for Swinny here. Swinny doesn't know what he's up to. So he's, he's gives gifts to Swinny and, and it's very cute and sweet. But because he's doing that, he's also attacking Carrie. Um, he either sees her as competition or, you know, invading his territory or something. And so he's been really harassing her the last... Been going on a little while, but I just saw him kicking her. Um, Puka goes when they fight for territory and against males versus male, they do a... They sort of lean back and they kick with their feet and... Um, he had Carrie down on the ground and he was kicking her. So I'm afraid, Woody, you're going to have to go somewhere else, mate. It's not a decision made easily, but you're going to have to go. My wife's going to be upset. She raised him. She's currently in hospital. Uh, looking after mum's dog. There's just lots of things happening at once at the moment. So anyway, I'll keep you posted on that one. How did I know you'd be the first one to check that out when I took the lid off? Hmm? What's in there, Jester? What's in there? So I'm just trying this nest box in different places because the turquoises don't seem too interested. Got the perches on the front now, but they just don't seem interested. They're going through all the other old boxes trying to find places to nest, but they're not using this one. What is it, Jaster? What is it? What is it, Charlie? Hmm? Hmm, oh, what's that? Too scary? <laughs> Look at that. Hmm? What is that? Not for you. For your little green friends. I'll put the lid on so they can go in there without being harassed by you, eh? Well, I didn't think you were going to be the nosy one. As soon as I've put the lid on, Swinny's jumped up to have a look, check things out. If you're after the water dish, I've shifted it down the other end. Okay. You say goodbye to Woody. Kitchen. Gotta try and do it by myself, fortunately. Quail well, once again sitting on eggs. Now, since the last update in October, I have racked up past the 3 million view mark. So, Thank you to all my regulars who have watched and cranked up the total. So yeah, over 3 million views now. Cheers guys. And quail the funny noisy little things. And this is not gonna focus. Oh. Funny little birds. That smell. <laughs> Nothing smells better than fireworks. This is Guy Fawkes. And the birds don't seem to mind too much, thankfully.
Woody always does that, so that's nothing new. Typical, I come out here to video and I can't actually see any of them. Can you hear a heap of them? Oh, yeah. So if you're from North America and you don't know what Guy Fawkes is, celebrated on the 5th of November in countries like New Zealand, celebrating um, Mr. Guy Fawkes, Guy Fawke, can't really remember anymore, who about 400 years ago tried to blow up the British Parliament. For some reason we all celebrate that as a great thing to do. <laughs> Still. Yeah, doesn't seem to worry our birds, which is very good. Straubs doesn't care. Our dog used to love Guy Fawkes. Absolutely love it. He would jump up at the windows trying to look out and see everything, and if he was outside, he'd try and run towards him. He just loved them. We always got excited at Guy Fawkes. A bit like me, really. I've always loved fireworks, but I haven't had any since we've had birds, for obvious reasons. Anyway, what's the matter, Woody? Tomorrow's the day, mate. Tomorrow's the day. So sleep tight. Found a nice spot for you. Shh. Night, night, Woody. You've been running around down there. Go to bed. The moment he tries to sleep a lot during the day and then he's awake all night squawking. Been doing it for a couple of months now. I'm getting rather amorous with everything. So he will be going for a walk. Found a nice reserve for him. He's gonna love it. Like I say, Guy Fawkes is celebrated here in New Zealand and many other countries. Um, and on at this time of the year, you can anyone can buy fireworks and let them off. You can buy them for four days of the year in New Zealand and let them off in your backyard. Over the years, it's gotten tamed down a lot, and the fireworks are nowhere near as good as they were 20 years ago. When I was a lad, we had much more fun and lots more things than you're allowed now. What are you doing, Woody? What are you doing in the Bismarck here? What did you jump up into there for, you silly bird? Straubs can hear me out in the deck talking, he's getting jealous. So things with thing with fireworks in this neighbourhood is that people let them off all year round. Whoa, that was a good one. <laughs> Particularly around Christmas. Man, they're getting louder and louder, these things. You can see the light of that one and then I hear the boom. Boom. <laughs> and another one. There we go. Any more. Yeah. <laughs> what do you reckon, Poppy? You don't mind the fireworks either, do you? You quite like the fireworks? Yeah. Yeah, you don't care. Yeah. What's he doing? He's popping my mother's dog. Can't see her in the dark. Get it in the way. I go do some dishes. Go talk to stalls. Today is Woody's last full day in the Pheasantasium. Tomorrow he will be going to a new home. A very good new home. Much better. He'll like it much better than here. Time has come, hasn't it, Woody? Here, look, Woody. Got your final meal. Hmm? Yeah, what's this? Hey? What's this? He likes an egg. Wait, Sweeney. 
Uri. Come on, mate. You better wash that. So yeah, Woody's going somewhere tomorrow where he's going to have hundreds and hundreds of hectares of swamp and grassland and bush and all sorts to play in. Last chicken egg, Woody. Maybe getting another one of them where you're going. So unfortunately he's just been getting a bit too boisterous recently. He's very noisy. Not good when you've got close neighbours. And he started he's been picking on Carrie for a while now and he's been kicking at her and sort of separated her. And then I think he was trying to do something yesterday to Swinney which she wasn't too impressed with. Nice little song, Joey. <laughs> so it's time for Woody to move on. We never actually thought we'd ever have him in here. He was, we were just raising him to release him. And then we kind of tried it in here and it sort of worked for a couple of years. But I think it's time for him to move on now. And because he hasn't been all that friendly, he sort of still acts like a wild poo kicker. I don't think he'll have any problem adjusting to the wild, and it's somewhere we can go and visit him anyway. It's a long way away from any road or anywhere where people will get to him, or cars, or dogs, or anything else like that. No predators, apart from maybe a hawk. Enjoy it, Woody. Gonna miss you, mate. There we are, a pain in the bum. We didn't need much of that. It's gonna be. Kirk will forevermore be known as Woody's to me. Whenever we see one on the side of the road or anything, we say, Get off the road, Woody. So we already call Kirk Echoes Woody's now. Get lots of grassy things to eat where you're going, Woody. You're going to love it, mate. You're going to absolutely love it. Doing up there, Swinny. So it's the last month of the year. Where did it go? Now, as you can see, it's a bit tidier in here, a bit more open at the moment. I haven't put back many perches yet. I've reinstated one down this end. 
that Tweety's sitting on at the moment. There's a few there that sparrows are sitting on. But it's nice to have it a bit more open. Birds can fly around a little bit more freely. It's not a good time to video them actually because it's the middle of the day. It's a nice warm day. Finally we've had some good weather the last sort of two weeks in Auckland. It's been sunny and hot. Summer has finally arrived. And it's all dried up. But lunchtime, not a good time to film the birds. They like to just have a bit of a sit and a sleep at lunchtime usually. Carrie's going to have a bit of a sunbathe there. Anyway, let's just have a look back at a few things that happened in since the last update. Must be getting close to some new quail. Let's have a look. Good morning, guys. Let's see a broken egg. What's up guys? It's under a dead palm. Get little babies. We put the barrier back up by the door, hadn't it? Better do that first. Alright, now that the babies can't get out there, let's see how many we've got. What are you hiding under there, mummy? They look like many. You can still see you've got at least four eggs in your nest. Come on! What have you got under there? Oh, just the one, is it? Just one little baby. What is this one? Oh, another one just dropped out. <laughs> is that it? Just two? You have to change your water bowl, aren't I? With quail, you've got to make sure, baby quail, make sure their water bowl is not too deep, else they will drown in just about anything really. So one easy way to do that is to just fill their water bowl up with stones. That way they can walk through it and not drown. Dirty. You just need a little bit of water like that so they can get to it, but not deep enough for them to drown and keep an eye on it that it doesn't dry out as well. Now that it's getting a bit warmer. for a few days. Ah, more changes. So just after I stopped filming the last little clip, I saw um, seven yon attack Blanc and then attack the babies. Basically he was protecting the, the remaining eggs. She got too close and he attacked. Um, it was just her, she'd be alright. But little babies won't take much before they're in big trouble so I've had to separate him just to be on the safe side so I threw him in next door and thought I wonder if he's gonna end up fighting with his previous children but no they're all getting along just fine I hope I can remember which one he is he's a darker one but doesn't look darker now <laughs> so he'll be in next door at least for the next few weeks. We'll see how things go. Well, they're getting along alright, so that's good. And I will release them into the main pheasantasium, the other two, at some point. Ah, oh, look, it's like they never left each other. That's sweet. Carrie, I'm trying to shut the door. The grass is always greener, isn't it?
Carrie's much happier since Woody has gone to his new home. Much more relaxed and a lot more like how she used to be, a lot friendlier. On the wrong side of the door, sweetie. Now Joey's on my head. Come on, I gotta go do some work. Joey, this is the doorway. I'm meant to be out here. Come on. Come on. Plane sounds low. Where is he for here? Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Can I get back in there? Come on. <laughs> Didn't get very far there, did you? What are you doing, Carrie? I let that grass and stuff grow so that the quail can come out and eat it. You're not meant to be eating it. Wait, wait, wait. Start digging holes. Come on. Back on the other side. Nope, 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 nope. Not that way. That's it. Quick, before Swinny comes in. Come on. Come on. Good girl, good girl. Good girl. Now you too, Joe. Start off. Good boy. There we go. It can be hard to get out of here sometimes. <laughs> Stop moving. You're very active now, aren't you? This little one, this little Turk, she has been inside for the last, uh, not quite a week yet, I don't think. Boy, does she make a mess. So yeah, make a big mess. Seeds everywhere. Anyway, she was, um, a few weeks ago, so I went out there and I could see a Turk flipping around on the ground. I went rushing out and it was, she was on her back, squiggling around, almost like she was having a fit. So I quickly grabbed her and brought her inside. And she seemed okay, you know. She looked alright, like she does here now. And then, about a week ago, I looked out and I could see a bit of a, what looked like a bit of a scuffle going on with a dove and stuff. And I couldn't quite work it out. And I went running out. And she was flopping around on the ground again. And this time she had blood on her wing. I grabbed her, brought her in. I don't know if she'd been attacked or what. But she's been fine ever since. I don't know if she's perhaps has fits, epileptic type fits or something. I'm not sure. Um, or whether she's been attacked by the other birds. But I mean, most of the time she seems like there's nothing wrong with her. So she might end up going to live with Yellow and Makita. We'll decide that shortly. So she's ready to be released now. Um, this one doesn't have a name. She's got a pink leg ring, so... Who's that? Yellow? I think I'll call her Pinky. A new straw feet called Pinky a lot. The yellow's taking a bit of interest, which is good. Are you ready for... A spell in here with yellow and Makita, see how that goes. See there's things aren't working out quite so well on the other side. Hmm? Let's go. Alright, then she's gonna work that one out. Okay, you guys be nice. Okay Makita. Okay yellow. And you can talk to all your other friends through the mesh. Yes, yeah, squeak, squeak. I'm gonna run out of card any second. Damn it! Why didn't I change that before I came out here?
Now I've been prattling on about how miserable the weather's been all winter and how wet it's been everywhere. And now that it, we've had like a week of stinking hot weather, beginning of December here, um, I now am going to make it all wet again. <laughs> so I need to give this Avery a good clean out. So I'll start off by pruning up some plants, removing a few scabby looking leaves, getting rid of all the old branches and what have you that need to be removed. And then I'm going to give it all a good hose down, wash off the plants and perches and try and get rid of as much doo-doo as possible. Uh, yeah, I might even get the water blaster in here. I don't know how much it'll upset these guys, eh? So we'll see about that. Might have to just do it with a hose. Hey, Twisty. He's a pretty boy. Wait, what's the news of us? Yeah, they've all started bathing daily now that it's warmed up. By all, I mean the sparrows, the turquoises, the um, red rumps, the cockatiels never seem to do it. Do you, Joey? Mm. Cockatiels just have showers when it rains. Natural styles, eh? So, they give this all a good wash down. Get it all ready for summer, and then I'll turn over the ground as much as possible. Go around, dig all the ground over, maybe bring in some... What are you doing there, sweetie? <laughs> Turks love going on the top of the feeder. Um, I'm going to remove that now. You guys can eat all this stuff on the ground, look at it all. You guys waste hundreds of dollars. <laughs> Few hundred dollars a year these guys waste in seed. It's growing pretty nicely in here. Got the three boys in here at the moment. Mummy next door with the baby. Anyway. Have a bit of a tidy up. I don't like having to cut the Bismarck here, but it'll make it a bit easier for me to get around while I'm cleaning up. Got to trim, tidy up this mess here a bit, so that you can see what's going on and move around, and the birds don't caught up in too many things. But while at the same time not destroying their sleeping spots, cut off anything that's covered in a lot of poop. Oh well. That's a start. The chooks are looking through the, the pile of detritus removed thus far. So now I'll remove some of the um, the houses, nest boxes, um, and perches and stuff, and give them a good water blast. Throw a couple of boxes away. So I'm removing some of the things that one there is going and that was there going in the fire heat. That one there I'm going to take off, take it outside, give it a clean, I'll put it back somewhere. I have taken off the platform that was there, I'll throw that away. Got a new board there, something a bit nicer. And I'm just about to loosen off this, taking off the bead thing that was on there, which we don't use anymore. Um, and I think I might take this metal thing off because I don't think we really need it now. It was here to stop any rain coming through. I'm up there and getting on this area here which is what we used to have as a food area but we don't use it as a food area anymore. But what I'm videoing this for is because I'm going to take this screw out and a heap of earwigs are going to fall out from behind here. They love living behind here. And Carrie is going to go bonkers I imagine. Here we go Carrie. Whoa look at them all. Harry loves her earwigs. Can let Swinny have some. Come on, Swinny.
earwigs, they just seem to multiply by the millions every night. They just come out here every day, flick that thing, a whole lot of them will pour out, carry their bonkers. I don't know where they keep coming from. Well, that feels a lot more open with that gone. Once I've cleaned this all up, I think I might put a board all the way around. I'll put a Vitex board all the way around. Just this board here, I often put um, peanuts and rice and fruit and uh, grasses and things like that on it um, for the cockatiels and the turks and everybody to have a go at without the pheasants haranguing them. And Woody, but Woody's not a problem anymore, obviously. But and this here was a big food tray that had the water dish on when Woody was here, but I can now put that back on the ground as well. So birds prefer water doing their bathing on the ground than they did up here. So I might even get rid of that. Hmm, let me think. That was a huge amount of earwigs that just dropped out. And I took that bracket off the tray. Come on, Swinney, you got to be quick, man. Look, they're all heading over here towards the chair. Look, Carrie. Look at there. Look. Gone. <laughs> Hope this doesn't upset the, the bug fanciers. They'll all be back again tomorrow. There's a never-ending supply of earwigs. Decided to uh, start again. You doing, Twisty? What have I done to it? I never went in there before. So I've taken everything down, as I've said, and I'm leaving that one there at the moment, just because there's a dove in there sitting on eggs, even though I know they're not going to hatch. There's five eggs in there. We normally lay a couple at a time. I don't know what she's, what she's thinking. Anyway, um, so what I plan to do, hang on. Finally, someone's taking notice of that box after I've stuck it on the ground. You want all your nest boxes on the ground, is that it? Is that what you're trying to tell me? <laughs> you weren't using any of those boxes, so don't make out like you were. And you're wondering where they're gone. Right, so what I'm going to do, Vitex platform all the way around the post, just as a feeding area. And I will put this new box somewhere around, maybe right at the base of this pillar. So that the Turks can use it. Hopefully they will, eventually. Got a female nesting down the back in a nest box. So I won't be removing that one, of course. Um, so I'm not going to show you that. Just going to leave her in peace. She's got five eggs. 
Anyway, better carry on cleaning up. What's happened to everything, guys? I'm gone. Oh, there's a bomb site in here. It's going to be much tidier and nicer once it's finished, guys. It's easy to fly around now, isn't it? What are you doing, Twisty? So I think I'll throw those away. Might keep the one with the metal roof. And cut a new hole in it or something. Give this one a water blast. Give those a water blast. And shred this stuff up in the shredder. So I've water blasted these and I've water blasted inside the pheasantasium. So it is looking much better. more open at the moment. I'm really surprised how well all the birds took the water blasting. I'd like to do a bit more but don't want to terrify them too much. I'd like to rinse down, blast all the, the outer poles, take the, the green layer off them but I've done some of them. But can't have these guys getting too terrified. So, still needs a lot of work, but we're getting there. This is actually green, not brown. Hopefully it'll stay a bit cleaner now that Woody's moved on. My raised top on this power department block has worked. There's Tweety, she's been trying to climb down, but she can't. So if there was a little Turk sitting on the perch, you wouldn't be able to reach them and we'll get to the hole. So they're both trying to climb down. We made the perches pretty short, so it's hard for the bigger birds to land on. Although I'm sure they'll work it out. It's nice and easy for a turquoising. And the turquoisings have been checking it out finally. Now that I've put it in this position, which is the position they seem to love in these boxes the most for some reason. Look at them, they all want to check it out. You're not going to fit in there, Tweety. I made it so you wouldn't fit, hopefully. There's always somebody wanting to mow a lawn when I'm videoing. Give it up guys, go do something else. I'll leave that for the turkeys. And laid another one. Just took five eggs out of here about an hour ago and she's gone and laid another one. So those eggs won't be fertile because um, Sauvignon has been next door when she was laying them. Um, so the little little fella here coming along nicely. Almost all feathered up. Starting to act like a adult quail. So one of the babies died the first day as so often happens with these little quail. Daddy wants to come back in soon. Soon I'll put you back in here and I'll let the, um, the boys out from the other side there and put them in the main aviary. So we've got the three, three in here now. Two girls and yellow. Where is he? Poor old yellow. You holding your wing funny today? Hmm? Still gets around okay. And so we've got yellow, Makita, 
and this one doesn't actually have a name she's got a pink leg ring so maybe I'll call her Pinky and one day these two might get integrated back into the main Pheasantasium we'll see how things go after this new batch of babies So I want to let the two young original quail babies we had out into the pheasantasium. First I need to get daddy out. This is daddy, I'm pretty sure. Savignon. I'm going to put him back in with Blanc. Go open the door mate, don't want you getting out of here. Right, I made it in without him getting out. Let's see if he is happy to be reunited or she's happy to be reunited with him. And whether we can get along with the baby. Baby's pretty big now and can probably go out by itself. There we go. Oh, That's sweet. Well, not wasting any time there. She's been laying eggs the whole time he hasn't been here, but of course they're not going to be fertile. Careful little fella. I get bonk on the head. I wonder if I can grab the young one now and separate that. Can you sit still little one? Long enough for me to grab you. Well, Blanc and Seven and Yong look happy together again. Having a good day so far today. Managed to catch two quail very easily. So I'm going to put this little one now in with the other two boys. I really need another hand when I'm doing these sort of things to video. Right, there you go, little one. Mummy and Daddy are just next door. Okay. You just jump up on that box there. We want to have a look at him. And this is your, your two brothers here. Okay, there's plant to drink. Yeah, I'll be with you in a minute, Strobes. You're gonna get along and be nice. Greenery in here is growing real nicely now, the grassy stuff, all the seeds and things. Just need to try and get that going again on the pheasantasium side. There's a something I would like to do, get some grass growing back over there again. You gonna come say hello? Let's be nice. It's your sibling. Be nice.
Oh, that went pretty well. Scratching around together already. Just keep an eye on that sort of behaviour. Seems as that one's a lot smaller. Let's keep an eye on them today, see how things go. Blanc is an egg laying machine. She hasn't stopped since she hatched the last lot of babies. She's carried on laying eggs, even though Sauvignon hasn't been there to fertilize them. So she, but she just loves to lay eggs. Let's see how many we've got here. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, seventeen eggs in the last few weeks while that little one's been growing up. She keeps making nests and laying eggs. But they are, of course, going to be infertile because Sauvignon hasn't been in there for quite some time. I need to make a nest box for Wee Yellow here. And Makita. We're going to finally become friends. And started laying eggs. I've been playing a lot in this tunnel. She goes in there and Yellow feeds her. And there's an egg here about half an hour ago and now there seems to be a mound so I'm guessing there it is <laughs> she's buried her egg oh, there's just one yeah it's actually damaged so it's probably not too good that one but I need to to make them a little house quickly so that they can raise some babies hopefully Eat some more yellow turks. They don't really like that box. It's not very good, actually. It's something that somebody gave us. Um, but I might just block it in a bit more and they can use that. Or I'll make them a new one. Let's... I'll go have a think about that. I have put the jungle gym back in the newest Avery extension. And I've put in this... the house... Thing I made and I'm hoping that the red rumps are going to want to come in here because they like both those two things. Um, stick some millet in there and try and get them in here and leave them on this side so they're not a nuisance to the poor little turks while they're trying to breed and Tweety's dying to breed as well so get her in here and she can hopefully be happy and away from everybody else. Now I have the two red rumps in here, but I have a bit of a problem because there's also two turquoises and two pheasants in there. So this is going to be tricky. Well, it took a few shots. But I finally have the red rumps in here. They're not impressed. Tweety is not happy about being in here at all. But I'm hoping they'll get used to it. I've only spent one day in here so far. I'm hoping that Tweety will want to make this her nest box. She has used it as a nest box before, I tried to. So hopefully she'll do that again. And this will give everybody else a rest from her stroppiness, apart from poor old Sylvester. He's a bit of a gentle soul, but she's stroppy. So anyway, the um, quail as well, as you can see, getting along just fine. And got some babies I'll show you now. Not quail, but turquoises. Yeah. 
so we've got four in there. Uh, I'm not sure how they are now. Uh, about two, nearly two weeks. Let me make a lovely noise. Sorry guys, leave it to it. So, quite a bit happening at the moment in here, eh, Jester? Yeah. Hey, you can say hello? No, not in the mood. Okay. So, do one more update on Christmas Day, Christmas morning. Hopefully I'll come out and do a video. Till then, I will see you later and go and build some things. Need to build some nest boxes and build it. Still haven't built the thing for here. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Merry Christmas, Booby. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Scratch. Merry Christmas, Scratch. Merry Christmas, Joester. Christmas. Oi, you're not getting into the treats yet, are you? Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. So it's just after 6 a.m. here in Auckland, New Zealand, in the Pheasantasium. And Joey's getting into the food already. Wait. Wait. Some pallets here for the girls. Gary! You see there's some earwigs behind there? Oh. Not over there today, Gil. Oh, some things you didn't like then. Merry Christmas, Winnie. Ooh, you got me a present. Hmm? Have you left me in none of your present? What have you got here? Yeah. That's this. He's dropped a lot of tail feathers recently. Another one to add to the collection. This is Joseph. So, some twisty grass here. See, everybody loves twisty grass. Maybe you'll get yours in a minute. I put a new branch in yesterday for the reed rumps into the, the rumpery. But they're still not that impressed about being in there. They want to be back on the side with their friends. Merry Christmas, little quail. You eating the palm from the other side, Sylvester? Mm. Right, have some treats. What have we got here? Carrie. Some blueberry. Yeah, Swinny. Strawberry.
about a plum. <laughs> Not big and scary, is it? Carrie, be nice. It's Christmas. Tomato? You want blueberries again, do you? Yep, blueberry. You guys want something other than twisty grass? Come on, Charlie. Come over here. Orange? It's a bit cold. It's a bit cold. In the fridge. So, not much traffic here today. It's nice. Christmas Day. I wish it was like this all the time. Hmm. Yeah, you're talking, Swinny. Be quiet. That's a grape. A grape. Yes, yeah, Swinny. Oh, need that grape. So thanks to everyone who voted in the frequency doohickey video poll thing. I prefer twisty grass over everything else there. Blueberry. Took the rest out for fizzies. Yeah, so thanks to everyone who voted in the poll. Um, the overwhelming result, more than 50% of the vote was for weekly. That's when I checked it last night anyway. I assume it hasn't changed too much. So, conclusion is, as of next year, 2018, I will be doing weekly videos. Weekly updates of the Pheasantasium. You know that, Tweety? So yeah, weekly videos, they'll probably be around 10 minutes-ish long, see how it goes. Might have to skip a few at some point, going away on holiday at some point, so that'll, that might stuff it up, or will stuff it up. So thanks to everyone again for all your comments, um, really appreciate some of the, the kind words everybody said. Um, it's really nice to hear. Um, yeah, so weekly next year, hopefully I can pump them out. I can try and spend a bit more time doing it. Not much point giving you guys fruit, eh? Just give you grass. You're happy with grass. So Merry Christmas to wherever you are on this planet of ours. If you don't believe in Christmas, well, just have a nice day off. I'm hoping by the end of the year to have another cockatiel companion video up. 
try and make use of the, the holiday period with the low traffic noise. Until then, hope everybody has a good day, Christmas, eat, drink and be merry, and I'll hopefully see you again before the new year, if not, I'll see you in the new year with my new weekly update format, APB, hmm, you're going to be on the interweb even more. So where's the Sparrow, where's the Jarvis? They sort of keep to themselves now, they used to be quite obtrusive, but now they're... Just stick to yourselves, there you guys. And... Got the four babies down in the box, so I won't disturb them. And the Charlie. Hey Charlie. Oh, I was, no, land on my head instead. Okay. That's all cool. And we've got one more Turk. She's in here with eggs. I won't disturb her either. I haven't checked actually to see if she's sitting on them properly now or not. But we've got four babies down in the end box. Which is actually plenty really. <laughs> they all make it. Merry Christmas guys, where have you all gone? Oh, there's yellow up there. Oh, there's a little turkey on the ground. You meant to be laying up in the box guys. Put you that nice big box at the back. And they'll get the hang of it eventually. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Have a Merry Christmas. Don't eat and drink too much. Although we all do. But Okay, I've got to go organise things for the day. So, Merry Christmas, and I will see you before the new year, like I said, maybe maybe next year. Anyway, bye-bye. Where'd you guys go? Don't be a nuisance to stuff. And annoy the little turkey babies. Don't you annoy the turkey babies?